Hello everybody, I'm here to talk to you about Renton Cinemas. My name is Jim Koval. I know what you're thinking by looking at these photos. What does Hurricane Floyd have to do with my with the movie theaters and Renton Cinemas? But my experience with movie theaters all started the day of Hurricane Floyd. Uh, on the day Hurricane Floyd hit, I was off from school that day and I was forced to go with my mom. My mom work at her old company. That day she was doing a community service with disabled people or people with disabilities at a movie theater in Mercer County. <coughs> I was responsible for cleaning up the theaters and getting rid of junk that was on the floor or left over from the previous night. It made me learn that movie theaters need to be kept well run and clean in order for people to keep coming back there and to keep the business thriving. So with Rang Cinemas, I'm here to talk to you about how it differentiates from its competitors. I'm giving three main points. And with the motion picture theater business, it's constantly an evolving market. So my three main points are the different ways to see a movie, the different types of events and programs that they, Rang Cinemas offers, and the special values and discounts that the company offers to customers. So I'm going to give a little background information about Reading Cinemas. Reading Cinemas is a part of Reading International Inc. The Reading International Inc. was founded in 1999, and its headquarters are in Los Angeles, California. Uh, these other three companies, the Angelica Film Center and Cafe, the Consolidated Theaters and the Village East Cinema are all sister companies of Reading Cinemas. The Angelica is the independent theaters or art house cinema. The Village East Cinema is basically another version of Reading Cinemas or another name for it. And Consolidated Theaters are the Reading Cinemas that are located in Hawaii and the company has been there since 1917. So now I'm going to get into my first main point with the different ways on how you can see a movie in ready cinemas. The co most common decision you would have to make in terms of what format to see a movie is whether I want to see the film in 2D, which is cheaper, or if I want to pay the extra money and see, it, see 3D and have stuff coming right at me. You know, all the effects and where is the 3D glasses. But there's also the Titan XC, that the company has, where it's large, 3D equipped, audio enhanced cinema theater. And then you have the Dolby Surround 7.1 versus the traditional 5.1 standard. Uh, with the two, I'm going to compare. The traditional 5.1 surround sound, you have like two zones, the left zone and the right zone. While the Dolby Surround 7.1, the new technology adds two additional zones to it with the, in the back of the audience, with the left side and the right side in the back. This is to add realism, it adds realism and depth to the cinema experience. And it adds, makes every boom and bam realistic. Now I'm going to go into the second way Rang Cinemas differentiates itself from its competitors with the different types of programs and events that it offers. I, my interview, I interviewed uh, my best friend Sal Vittor Retorto. He's been a regular theater goer at Rang Cinemas since it opened back in the early 2000s. So there are different he says, with the different types of programs and events, that not even though these types of events don't appeal to the general movie-going population, it offers something something to that's untapped or under underappreciated demographic of the movie-going public. Some examples are the Crybaby Matinee, where each week there's a movie playing where. Parents can take their 
babies or younger kids to a movie, they keep the lights dimmed and the volume down. And there's a baby changing station in the theater. So say that you have to, the parent has to change a diaper, the parent can just run down the, the railing and change the diaper in the theater. Uh, the company also offers events like the Bolshoi Ballet and the Live Theater with Caesar and Cleopatra. These are two of the programs that they have coming up. They also offer opera, anime, and classic, classic films. And the last way Rang Cinemas differentiates itself from its competitors is through the discounts and special values that it offers. Like for example, you have the student ID day where one day a week a theater offers a discount to people who show their student IDs. And it not only applies to colleges and universities, but also beauty schools and trade schools as well. And you have the wake up offer with the Grand Cinemas where you can sit and get a discount off the regular afternoon matinee price if you go before noon. So in my theater in Grand Cinemas in Manville, the regular afternoon matinee price is eight bucks. But if I go before noon, it's only six bucks. So I'm saving a couple bucks. And another one that I, that I don't have listed, don't have any pictures, but I would like to talk to you about is the screensavers, where it's a book of a hundred general admission tickets, and if they're used, you get a significant discount off the price of tickets, and it's good for schools, group organ, community groups, and and businesses as incentives for their employees. So to wrap everything up, Ring Cinemas differentiates itself from its competitors in three different ways. First way is through the different ways you can see a movie with the 2D versus 3D, the tight neck C format, and the Dolby Surround 7.1 versus the traditional 5.1. The second way is through the different types of programs and events that are offered. As the you have the you have live theater, ballet, and the opera, in addition to the anime and the classic films, basically tapping into an untapped market. And then the last way is through the discounts and special values with the wake up offers, the student ID day, and the screensavers. So. This is how Rang Cinemas differentiates itself from its competitors in an evolving market with the motion picture theater business. Thank you, everybody.